I am so honored to be here. But before I say something, I want you to hear from the future of our nation. The only granddaughter of Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King, my daughter and Andrea's daughter, Yolanda Renee King. Should I really do this? Okay. Some of you may remember that two years at the March for Our Lives, I said, spread the word. Have you heard all across the nation? We are going to be a great generation. That was in 2018. I didn't know what would hit us in 2020. A pandemic that shut our schools and put our young lives on hold. More killings of un unarmed black people by police. Attacks on our right to vote. More killing, oh wait. The worst economic crisis since the Great Depression that we learned about in school. And more extreme weather than ever before. But great challenges produce great leaders. We have mastered the selfie and TikToks. Now we must master ourselves. Less than a year before he was assassinated, my grandfather predicted this very moment. He said that we were moving into a new phase of the struggle. The first phase was the civil rights, and the new phase is genuine equality. Genuine equality is why we are here today and why people are coming together all across the world, from New Zealand to New Jersey. He said that we must not forget the days of, the, of Montgomery. We must not forget the sit-ins movements. We must not forget the Freedom Rides, the Birmingham movement, and Selma. Papa King, we won't! My generation has already taken to the streets peacefully and with masks and socially distanced to protest racism. And I want to ask the young people here to join me in pledging that we have only just begun to fight and that we will be the generation that moves from me to we. We are going to be the generation that dismantles systemic racism once and for all, now and forever. We are going to be the generation that calls a halt to police brutality and gun violence once and for all, now and forever. We are going to be the generation that reserves climate change and saves our planet once and for all, now and forever. And we are going to be the generation that ends poverty here in America, the wealthiest nation on earth, once and for all, now and forever. We are the great dreams of our grandparents, great grandparents, and all our ancestors. We stand and march for love, and we will fulfill my grandfather's dream. So, show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. One last time. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Okay, then let's show them. Yolanda. Yolanda.